Zinkies, how many flashcards? <laughs> Hi, my name is Dallin and I'm a third year medical student. I owe a lot of my academic success in undergrad, on the MCAT, in medical school, on board and shelf exams to Anki and a book about learning called Make It Stick. In this next video series, I want to explain why Anki is such an effective study tool, how to download it, how to download and use add-ins, how to create a study schedule, and then finally, how to download and use pre-made decks. For this first video in the series, I wanted to talk about the research that supports using a flashcard app as well as scheduled spaced repetition. So with that, let's jump into the evidence. Now you as a good medical student know that you should probably use Anki. I mean, all your friends are doing it, and so that makes it okay, right? But in all seriousness, you might not understand why it's so important. What's, what's all the hype about? As an undergrad, I knew that flashcards could be an effective study strategy, but to me, they just were not worth the time or the effort. Now, my mind was changed after I read a book called Make It Stick. It is based on 141 studies about how to effectively study and learn. The authors of the book then distill those studies down into eight principles for effective learning. Now, Anki addresses three of those principles, including retrieval, mixing up how you study, and embracing the difficulty. Now, by retrieval, I just simply mean testing. And I know that you're probably sick of the word test by now and any word that even is remotely similar, like testing, pre-test, post-test, tester, testy, well, I mean, <laughs> you get what I mean. But testing yourself on material is an important way to learn. In one of the studies that the authors cite, they talk about a sixth grade class that was divided into two groups. One of the groups, the control group, was allowed to study in whatever way that they would on their own. And the other sixth grade class was forced to study by pre-quizzes and post-quizzes. Now these quizzes were given at the beginning and at the end of class and they were low stakes. They did not count for a grade and they only took about one or two minutes to complete. Now at the end of the semester, the results were staggering. The class that was allowed to study on their own scored a full letter grade lower than the class that had been quizzed. Now, why is this important? Well, Anki, I like to think of as a low stakes quiz that allows you to review material that you would not otherwise see on uh, testing software like UWorld or RX. For example, uh, you may do 200 UWorld questions in a day and you understand how long that could take. Uh, and you might never see that one of the cancer markers for mesothelioma is calrectin. However, if you have a flashcard on that and you use Anki, you will see that five or six times within the first week of using it. And then up to maybe 13, 14, 20 times uh, throughout the course of your uh, studying, what, before dedicated and during dedicated. What is interesting is that quizzing yourself, even the same amount of times as rereading the material, is much more effective. These same experiences experimenters took a different fifth, sixth grade class, excuse me, and they did a crossover design study, which if you don't know what that is, don't feel bad. I literally just had to look it up, but it's when the subject ends up getting both treatment options. So what they did is for part of the material that the class was covering, they had them reread the material three times. And then for a different proportion of the material, they quizzed them on it three times. Now the results were very telling. The group, the material that was only reread three times, Times or reviewed three times ended up scoring a C plus average, whereas the material that was quizzed three times ended up scoring an A minus average. Now there is a temptation to reread first aid as a content review strategy. But even if you were to go through the material 20 times, it would be much less effective than quizzing yourself via flashcards like Anki. And I promise you it will reflect in your score. Just like those sixth graders got a C plus just for reviewing the material, where those same sixth graders, the same kids, ended up getting an A minus on material that they had 
quizzed. So that's the first reason that I use Anki. The fact that it allows me to retest and retest and retest myself in a low stakes environment. I'd much rather get it wrong on a flashcard than on the actual step one, step two, step three board exam. And tomorrow I'm gonna to talk about the power of the spaced repetition that is built in to the algorithm of Anki. If you're interested in looking at the primary research that I quoted, I've linked the articles in the description below as well as the book, Make It Stick. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you found this video useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, please let me know why. Thank you.